Sometimes we find that opening a COM port fails because it's already in use. This occurred when I was uploading to a microcontroller device using Platform I.O. What happens is Windows Device Manager keeps track of the ports and shows them as being in use when they're clearly not in use. So in this video I'm going to show you how I fixed this problem. First, let's take a close look at how a nice clean system should work. Let's start with nothing plugged into the USB ports. On the left is Device Manager. Notice there isn't even a ports option to click on. To check the ports using a terminal window, we use the mode command. And there's nothing about ports here either. Now, when I plug in a USB device, it immediately shows in Device Manager as COM3. And if we click on the device entry, we can see the properties. We go to Ports, Settings, Advanced, and we can see COM3 is selected, but there's nothing to say it's in use. However, COM4 is shown wrongly to be in use. The mode command correctly shows COM3 is there, but COM4 isn't. Now, let's take a look at my system when things got really bad and how I fixed it. You can see in Device Manager that only COM5 is in use and Terminal agrees. But look how many ports are shown to be in use here. I failed to find an answer on the web so I experimented and found a solution that worked for me. I've known for a while that in the Properties window you can manually reassign port numbers. So I clicked on a port that was shown to be in use, COM15, and clicked OK, and I clicked Yes to continue, and Properties now shows the port to be free. I thought this is great, so I freed up all the other ports using the same method, and when that was done, I rebooted into Windows and everything worked OK. Now, there may well be an easier way to reset the ports, but I don't know it. So if you know another method, then please comment below.